everyone so you guys may or may not have come to this video because I posted a hair tutorial on this look but unfortunately my hair is gonna be flat because it's been a few hours since I filmed the hair tutorial to be honest not gonna lie not going to even lie because I've been very lazy I've been watching some Rick and Morty I've just started to watch that and I am really enjoying it it makes my mind tick and that's a good thing but it's not as good as money heist but if you want to see the hair tutorial on this look that video is already up but yeah now time for the makeup I have changed my makeup look a little bit and I'm really liking it it's very simple it doesn't take me very long it's, it's actually not that simple if I'm in a rush I can do it within 20 minutes maybe even 15 I think the other day I rushed it and pushed 10 minutes you know that's very quick but yeah Let's get into the makeup. So, I have been loving this primer. Honestly, I never even know if primers do anything, but this is the Ilma Squa primer, and it is very bougie. It looks like black gel. It has a little spoon, and I just love how it makes me feel when I start off my makeup. That's literally so cool, but it's clear. But see how it's, like, literally perfect? When you dip your spoon and you're like, oh, oh damn. damn, like, it's ruined. See how you can see some texture in there in, like, 20 seconds? The surface of the gel will be completely smooth again so that is so satisfying let's move on to eyebrows now of course I'm using my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is also my voice is a bit raspy but that is because the other night I was in the car with my friend Siobhan and we were just screaming singing for like 45 minutes so I kind of lost my voice I'm using the 24 hour brow setter by benefit nothing beats it I do like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one but this one just keeps them really stiff the Anastasia Beverly Hills one is a lot more natural and I just think that I'm just really used to this one that's the problem with me I get used to products and then I don't want to stop using them I just brush them up and out up and out now it's time to conceal my eyebrows so I'm taking this Oh my god, I'm so clumsy. I'm so clumsy. So I'm taking this little Beauty Bay brush and my NARS conceal in the shade Vanilla for underneath the brow and Custard for above the brow. And again, it's ridiculous because I've been using these products for so long. But it's like I get attached to them because they're just so good. Okay, so basically, I don't know if I've spoken about this in a YouTube video before. I think I have. And the fact is, is that I have never had deja vu in my life. But whenever people talked about it, I didn't really know what they were going on about. And I just, I couldn't grasp it. I couldn't understand it. It still confuses me. But the other day I think I experienced deja vu for the first time. And it's weird because I was having a random car conversation with my mom. I was asking her about deja vu. And this was at the point where I hadn't experienced it yet. I was like asking questions. I'm like how does that make sense? Like blah blah blah. And I ended up looking it up. And I looked up what does it mean if you don't get deja vu? And apparently 70% of people get deja vu. Which isn't as many as I thought. I thought everyone got it. And I thought there was something wrong with me. But apparently if you don't have deja vu like that's good because your brain isn't like stuffing up not that deja vu is a bad thing but I had never met anyone that hadn't had deja vu I guess it's not a common thing that you talk about but anyways in that moment I thought to myself imagine if I one day experienced deja vu after looking this up and maybe I wrote it in my universe that I was going to experience deja vu because the other day I walked past the staircase and I looked down I can't really explain it and it just seemed familiar like I knew the staircase before I had experienced experienced it which doesn't really make sense but it was literally 0.5 of a second of this experience and I'm like I had never felt that before but it wasn't like the type of thing where someone said something and I'm like wait have you said that before let's move on I'm taking this brush by Beauty Bay and of course of course I'm sorry this isn't about trying new products this is about the products that I use every day I'm taking the Kylie bronze palette and I'm taking this middle shade to make a TikTok But anyway, yes, yeah, sorry, I got so distracted. I'm using this and just doing what I do. Also, like, can you see my posture? <laughs> I can't help but sit terribly and I think that's because in primary school we would sit on the floor on the carpet and my back would just be curled but so would everyone like it was actually like I swear in my head I'll be like oh my god I have to curl my back more like that's cool I sound so mentally unstable okay so now that I'm looking a bit orange I'm going to go in with these shades and just like deepen that up a bit I've also come to a realization that I'm really bad at replying to people and I feel like it makes me look like I like hate them and then maybe they 
hit me back. I've gotten worse at replying and I think that's because I changed my whole background on my phone with the update. I've done 3,800 steps today, how? And I can't see any of my notifications. So it's like, I always have to like swipe down. Often I'll get like messages and I reply in my head, but then I don't actually reply. And then they have to like double text me and it's like, oh. I feel bad. Okay, so now that I've deepened that up a bit, but not too deep, like it's just a little, a little bit of fun. I'm taking my beloved Scott Barnes blush palette and I will be taking these two highlighters. So this one on my finger and I'll be putting that like on my inner corner and starting to blend that up. This has also become a lot harder because I finally got my nails done. And then I'm going in with the peach shade and I'm putting that like more center lid. Clearly you can tell it does not have to be perfect. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna blend it out. I've done a really terrible job. Hee <laughs> hee. So now I'm getting a bit frustrated. I'm getting a bit agitated. So I'm going to do the liner. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner in the shade Mad Max Brown. So I guess just a normal wing. And then the inner portion of my eye, I'm just making sure I'm doing that as thin as possible. Sometimes I don't do eyeshadow, it's optional. Okay, so now that I've done my eyeliner really terribly, I'm going to smudge it out. So again, I'm taking this and like the dark brown shade and then this little angled eyebrow brush. And I'm just going along the top of the liner. I'm just like trying to make the line of the liner not harsh, if that makes sense. All right, we're gonna do the rest of my eyes later, but let's move on to skin. So I'm taking my Fae Foundation Ever, which is the NARS Chic Glow. I'm doing half a pump of this one, which is in the shade Syracuse. And then like two pumps of this one, which is very light, and this is in the shade Gobi. I don't wanna use that much. I just really wanna distribute this over my whole face, but it's good if it's like really thin foundation, like you want your natural skin to shine through. All right, so now that I've kind of blended this out a little bit, I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Bisque and highlighting with this. But yeah, it was really cute. The other day it was my one year on YouTube, you guys. And I am like, I'm so great. Like, I always say I'm so grateful, but I am so, so grateful. And this time last year, I had just finished year 12 exams. I just posted my formal video. I don't know if I've told this before. I remember where I was when I posted the video. I was in Hawaii at the time. So basically we were on a day trip around the whole island. We were in a bus and I just posted it from my phone. I was just refreshing, refreshing. And I uploaded it to my Instagram story. I'm like, everyone watched my YouTube video. And like no one had ever seen my personality before. Everyone had just seeing pictures of me. I don't think anyone even like knew what my voice sounded like. I don't even think people like knew that I was like Australian. And it was funny because my mom didn't have internet so she couldn't see that I posted that to my story and said, I have a YouTube video. Like she had no clue. And I didn't tell my dad, I didn't tell anyone. And like two days later when I was shopping in Hawaii, my dad called me and he's like, I saw your video. But yeah, it was good. He said he loved it. And that's the story of how I uploaded my first video. I don't know if I've said that before, but that's what I did. I'm taking the KVD Vegan Beauty Setting Powder. Pat that in a tiny bit, like not much. All right. Now that we have the base on, it's time to get crazy. So I'm taking the Scott Barnes contour palette and I'm gonna contour with like these shades, contour and bronze. And I'm just kind of blending that up onto my forehead. And now I'm gonna contour my nose with this little brush. And now we're done. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna fix this, but I'm taking this brush and this brown shade and going on my under eyes with that. So like here. So again, I'm taking the Scott Barnes blush palette and I'm going in with literally one, two, three, four, five, like all these colors, just mixing them together. And I'm putting it like on the higher parts of my cheeks, not so much in the front here. And then I'm going to take the excess and just run that over my nose and kind of like bring that down because that really gives you a sun-kissed look. All right, and now it's time for the thing that I think makes the look, which is the freckles. So I I take this brush, Beauty Guru, and I start off with this dark shade. And I go over any pimples or any beauty spots that I have. I have one beauty spot here, which has been covered up by makeup. It's weird. I only have like freckles on this side of my forehead, which is really weird. So I like to put some here. But I have some dark ones like here, here, here. And then I just kind of dot around my nose. And then I go in with this one. And it's also good if you do it along the contours of your nose because that adds dimension. I used to hate my freckles. Obviously, I'm drawing on fake freckles. I obviously prefer the freckles that I draw on because they have better placement and stuff. And then I'm going in with the lightest one and just like adding more. And also, it doesn't matter if they're like not perfect circles. It's probably better because freckles aren't perfect. All right. And now that I look very freckly, don't worry. I'm not going to stay as intense as this. I'm now going to reverse contour with the KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Palette and just do that like against the contour of my nose. This is a must have. All right, I'm now gonna spray my face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Setting Spray Mist. 
This smells amazing. Since that's drying, I'm gonna finish off my eyes. So I'm going back in with this and I'm doing an inner eye corner cat wing. This also changes the look so much. I never used to do this. I swear it like makes your eyes so much bigger. Like. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. This is also a game changer because I never used to curl my lashes. I only started curling my lashes like a week ago and it changes everything. Okay, so now that I have curled my lashes, I'm going to put on, oh, my eyes are watering a bit. I'm gonna put on mascara. So I have stolen this from my mum. I've been loving this. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. I kind of like to actually bring them outwards instead of up. Look how much that does for me. I love it. All right, and now that I have done mascara, let's move on to highlight. Highlighter. So I'm taking this brush and both of these shades mixed together and this highlight is just oh, It's everything. I literally just like put it around my face a bit just to add some glow And I feel like that's what makes it look again so natural. All right, and now let's move on to lips and guys guess what? I have found a different lip liner <gasps> other than Kylie X Balmain lip liner in the shade Paris I didn't go out and buy this. I already had it. <laughs> One day I just used it and I'm like, wait, this is actually nice as well. So I thought I'd show you guys because I've been using it. So this is the MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down. And yeah, I'm just gonna overline my lips with this. All right, and now that I have overlined my lips, I used this for the first time today and I don't mind it. So it is the Maven Beauty lipstick in the shade Sus. And I'm just gonna put a bit of this and then I'm using a bit of their KKW cream lipstick in the shade Kimberly. And yeah, I actually think that is it. It is it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this makeup. I feel like it's really pretty. It's not the simplest. It's not the most natural, but it's what I've been doing all the time. I love all of the products. I've been using these products for ages, so I know they work really well. And yeah, so basically this is like my new everyday kind of makeup tutorial. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. Oh. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Holton underscore. And yeah, don't forget to check out my previous video, which was of my hair. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye.